Welcome to my video where I built the 6 meter vertical antenna. This is an antenna from the website that I got some of my ideas from. This was the way he attached the radials to the top plate which I changed and this is the wire coming through the mass tube. This is a close up of my finished antenna. These are some of the raw materials that I started out with, the rods and the hold down brackets, but I did not like the original U-clamps. These are the new U-clamps I used for assembly. I made a steel backplate drilled and painted for mounting. This is the mass tube with the four L brackets that will be used to connect the top plate where the active element is for the assembly. I just threw this in which is my workbench where I did all the cutting and drilling. The top plate has four tapped holes for mounting the mass tube. The holes in the corners are for the ground radial U-bolts. I elected to use the smaller U-bolt as was a better choice. This was my setup for bending the ground radials to a 45. All my ground radials are now bent, but I cut them a little bit longer for trimming at a later time. I now have the hole drilled in the top plate for the 239 stud. As you see, it's now mounted in a side view, and the next view coming up is going to be a top view. I now have the top plate mounted on the mast with the radial U-bolts. This is where I threaded the active element for the 239 stud. A bottom view of the top plate, all screws for the L-brackets are threaded. This is a picture of the radials now attached to the top plate. This was my setup to tune the active element and radials. I intended to use a side mount up at the peak for mounting, and here's a picture of the side mount. I now have a rope on the antenna ready to pull it up from the top of the roof. And that's just more of a distant view. I got it on a 20 foot pole, and another view of how it looks as I'm going to pull it up. And one more view from the peak looking down, ready to pull this antenna into position. Now I've got the antenna up there secured with the side mount. Now I've got the rope off and this is a close-up view and then I got one that's pulled back a little bit to get a better view of the entire antenna with the radials and then one from the other end of the roof looking down at it and a side picture of the house and that's the finished product. Some of the criteria that I changed from the original website was to make it more rugged and make disassembly and assembly easier. Thank you for watching.